Yes, you read the title correctly. And no, I'm not clickbaiting you right here. That vegan teacher made not one, not two, not three, and not even four videos about the Queen's funeral. She made freaking five different videos about that topic. And I'm not even kidding right now. They are literally named the Queen Funeral Part 4 or Part 5. Absolutely disgusting behavior by the vegan lunatic better known as that vegan teacher. So I must be honest, I must confess to something. I don't really care that a critical video is being made about a person that just died. I just don't think dying means you shouldn't get any criticism anymore and I think critical videos can still be made about you. However, posting 5 different freaking videos about one funeral, that is just fucked up. So I'm scared to say this but let's just watch these videos together and let's be shocked together by what that vegan teacher actually has to say about the funeral of the Queen of England. And don't forget, if you hate this woman for doing all this crap online, like this video and subscribe to the channel so we can make fun of her together. And now let's just watch part one of this shameless video series by that vegan teacher. I'm watching TV here. The Queen's funeral. I'm looking at all the people in red. Those red fancy uniforms with the big black hats. Did you know that those hats are made out of Murdered bears. Imagine watching a funeral of someone and overanalyzing the whole process to look if not everything is vegan within the funeral. Like yeah, this was one big crazy event with many people joining there that are not actually vegan. Because almost nobody in the world is vegan. So of course, shit within it is not going to be vegan. The heads are not vegan, the food served probably isn't vegan and the cars are driving on dead dinosaurs for god's sake. What's the problem? Yeah, they come from Canada. They murder big, innocent black bears after ripping them away from their families just for a decoration. Animal rights activists have asked them to use the vegan version, the cruelty-free version, but they don't care. Why wouldn't they care? Hmm, let me see. The royal family in England has many supporters. And next to these masses of people, a tiny small group is shouting about heads not being vegan. So let's say 100 people are fine with these heads and one is not. And I even think the 1% is exaggerated. So to me, it's pretty fucking clear why they didn't listen. Imagine everyone needing to listen if one person doesn't like something. The whole world would be one big hellhole. Well, that was part one of this video series by that vegan teacher. So let's see what part two of the worst reviewed series in the history of mankind has to offer. So many murdered bears. Damn it woman, move on. Stop constantly saying the same freaking thing for once. Harry is in that crowd, walking behind one of the people wearing such a hat. Harry! Tell them! You used to be a rebel. Say it out loud. Say your hat is ridiculous. Your hat comes from violence and murder. Harry, just yell it at them. Look, they're all over. Great, now that vegan teacher has completely lost it. She's shouting at the television, pretending that Harry hears her. I think we should just send this video as proof that this woman needs a one-way ticket to a mental hospital. If someone has the email address, drop it in the comments please, it would help out a lot. I'm watching the Queen's funeral. It's a lot of people there. Indeed, that vegan teacher. And do you know why? Because nobody cares about your head problem or whatever you're going to say next. Each person has a stomach and intestines. What's in them? How many dead bodies are there inside all of these people? I would say a lot, as 99% of people are not vegan. So what's in their stomach you ask? Probably some hamburgers, some chicken wings, some delicious steak. Oh wait, what is that? Ah, it's the lettuce from one vegan there. Next to that person is someone with barbecue ribs, some delicious cheese and some good old meatballs. Yeah, I'm getting hungry just listing all of this. Years ago, when this wagon used to be pulled by a horse, the horse got scared jumped and the casket nearly went flying 
they decided to no longer enslave a horse for that job. But still, so many horses are present here today, dragged away from their families, forced to stand on the pavement, tied up. Yes, because people ride horses, and as long as I treat them good, I don't see the problem with that. But well, I'm not that vegan teacher of course, because if it revolves around animals, everything is a problem for this woman. So much so in fact, that we're now going to look at part 4 of a video series she made about the Queen's funeral. Watching the Queen's funeral. So many men there. I'm not making a judgement about it. Just observing. If you're not making a statement about it, why are you even saying it in the first place? If you don't care about it, why does it even come up in your mind to say it out loud? What I am making a judgement about though, is what's in their bellies. How many of these people have dead baby pigs inside of them? That vegan teacher, stop. Just stop. You can literally make that comment about anything you watch on TV. Why did you specifically choose a funeral? I mean, watch the Olympics, you can say the same thing. Watch a political debate, same thing. Reality show, same freaking thing. That vegan teacher, you don't need to make everything about veganism. Just watch something, enjoy it or not, and move on with your life. All of these people with dead animals on their heads, when they could so easily have used the vegan version of this fur. Shame on these people. I would say shame on you that vegan teacher for making 5 freaking videos about disrespecting someone that died. Someone that many people loved and adored. But well, we all know that vegan teacher by now, there is no stopping her stupidity. So let's go to the 5th and final part of her insane video series. I'm watching the Queen's funeral and wondering why so many people are there watching. Do you know why they are? They're watching because other people are watching. And those people are watching because other people are watching. False! They're watching because they respected the Queen, the Queen of England. They liked the Queen or well, they are just interested in this whole thing. As this woman ruled the UK for a very long time. Not everything that happens in the world is wrong that vegan teacher. If people want to watch something, let them. The reality is that this woman is dead and she ate, over her lifetime, thousands of innocent animals. And she wasn't a stupid lady. She knew what veganism was, and she could have decided to be vegan, and to encourage all of the people of England to be vegan. She could, but she didn't have to. There's a big difference between the two actually. She didn't have the moral obligation to do that, and she chose not to, and just continued to enjoy some delicious steaks cooked by world class chefs for her. And I can't blame her, they're probably fucking tasty. But she didn't do that. What makes a person good versus just polite? Was the queen just polite or was she also good? Well, I don't know as I never paid much attention to her. But what I do know is that that vegan teacher right here is not polite nor good. Neither of these words define that vegan teacher. So she can judge others what she wants, but in the end nobody likes her and she should probably think about her own actions for once. And with that said, if you've enjoyed, like and subscribe, Blobfish out.